Well, hello, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday to you. I hope you're enjoying the beautiful, beautiful sunshine that we have here in our awesome, awesome um, area where you are living. I don't want to assume that we all live in the same area. So I want to go ahead and invite all the kiddos out there to come and join me for another kid's message. And kids, if you're there, I have something to, to share with you. You see, uh, earlier this morning, I fell down and I kind of hurt myself a little bit and now I'm having trouble remembering some things. So I'm going to need your help trying um, in order to remember that thing that I was supposed to do this morning. And you see, I know that I had to meet with a friend of mine and uh, I just can't remember exactly which one. So I know that I ha had to meet my friend, my friend Benny, but I don't know. Um, and can't remember what Benny looks like. And you see, in, let me show you right in front of me. I have here some of my friends that have come um, to spend time with me. But I know that this morning I had a special commitment with Benny. Can you help me? Um, can you help me figure out which one is Benny? Do you know which one of my friends I had a commitment with and was supposed to spend time with this morning? Hmm. Well. Maybe you, just like me, this morning, don't exactly know from the simple information, Benny, which one of these four friends is uh, Benny. So wait a minute, let me see if I can think a little bit better what my friend Benny is like, and maybe we can figure out together who this Benny is, this friend of mine that I'm supposed to spend time with this morning. Let me, let me think of it. Hmm. Now that I'm thinking a little bit more, I am remembering that Benny is a friend of mine that can actually run really, really quick. Hmm. Okay, so we, we have that about Benny. Benny can run really quick. <gasps> Another thing that I remember about Benny is that Benny has really pretty nice, uh, a, a white color about Benny. It's, it's just something, and, and uh, maybe that could be the second thing that we keep in mind. Hmm. And oh, now that I'm thinking about it, the third thing about Benny is that Benny likes to hop. <laughs> so that could be maybe the third th thing that we keep in mind. And let me see if I can think of maybe one last thing about my friend Benny. Oh, you know what? I've just remembered Benny likes to eat carrots. That's right. Benny likes to eat carrots. So now let's look back at, at our friends and... Let's see if maybe we can figure out now who Benny is. So over here, we have our friend Easter the Eagle. And although Easter is white, and that was one of the things, it looks, uh, I don't know that eagles are known for eating carrots, so maybe we can put Easter aside. Easter, I don't think I had my meeting with you this morning. Hmm, what about, what about this Okay, what about Beth the bumblebee? Well, Beth the bumblebee, I mean, Beth, the bumblebees are known for going around flower to flower, but that's not exactly hopping. They kind of fly from flower to flower. So I think we can put Beth away. Now we're left with these two characters. And so our friend Pat, the puppy, can definitely run really, really fast. Like, pew, pew, but... Um, I don't think puppies uh, are no also known for eating carrots or for hopping. I think they kind of more like run, right? So by process of elimination, friends, I think we're left with this being our friend Benny, the bunny, who, if you remember, he Benny is our friend that has visited us before. In one of the videos, he was stuck in a tree. So now we have Benny the bunny as my friend that... I had a meeting with today, and now, after I'm done with our children's message, Benny and I, we can hang out. Thank you so much for helping me figure out which one is Benny, and I wanted to let you know that basically what we just did right here, it's almost an example of what God does with us. You see, we, just like I had a problem this morning, couldn't remember which, uh, how my friend looked like because of my fall, um... We also have problems in our lives, and God, being our loving, loving Father, wants to help us with, with our problems. More importantly, he wants to help us out whenever we feel pain and brokenness. He wants to bring healing into our lives, but there's a problem with, with this. 
as you guys were able to figure out, you can't help anybody out until you learn what it is that, they, that, uh, that they're looking for. And just like you guys learned from me what Benny was like, that Benny likes to eat carrots and Benny can run really fast and, and Benny can, can hop. Um, through that knowledge, you were able to help me figure out which one was my friend. And God does the same thing through his son, Jesus Christ. You see, when God sent Jesus down to earth, Jesus was able to experience, he was able to know all of the good things about being human, but also even all of the bad things. So then Jesus knows very well, and through Jesus, God knows very well, what it is to be sad, and what it is to be upset, and what it is to get frustrated about things. But because God now knows exactly what these things are like, he is able to help us heal through these things so that through through his healing we could feel better about everything that we experience isn't that neat so just like you guys were able to help me through learning about my friend to figure out who my friend is god also helps us heal through our pains and our frustrations because he himself has experienced that same those same emotions so i thought that was pretty neat well with that let's close our eyes and let's pray and then I'll let you go on on your Sunday, okay? All right, let's go. Holy God, thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus, who was able to experience all the good things, but also all the challenging things that we humans experience. Thank you for becoming acquainted with, um, with all of these deep emotions. And thank you that you want to help us heal from those emotions so that through your healing, we might become better, more complete people. And that as more complete people that we might bring more light and goodness into this world. Thank you for all that you're doing in our lives. Keep us safe this week and let us have some lots of fun also. We pray all these things in your son's name, Jesus. Amen. All right, everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye.